We believe that kids are natural learners, whereas the paradigm of the mainstream is that kids are naturally lazy and need to be forced to learn. And so this is night and day. Schooling is one way to be educated, but it's not the only way, and it may not be, I argue, the most preferable way for the realities of the innovation era. We don't need to create schools or curricula to help children to be creative or curious. We just need to stop destroying that through forced schooling. One of the issues that we find is that we are conditioned really, really well to act as instructors of domination. It's easy to get stuck in the trap of, I've got it, I know how to adult, I know how to be a partner with youth, and I think what we need to remember is that we never got it. I learned, and I unlearned what I knew, and deconstruct my understanding of how to handle our differences. We have these entrepreneurial educators and visionary parents challenging the kind of dominant paradigm of education and building alternatives to school and that's where the real change will occur. It's about creating a groundswell and a movement of people who understand what it is to be liberated inside themselves as people and to share that with the world and with their children. And we remember we're all in this together and even though it seems like we have little ideological differences, our common goals are the same. Something that I took away from this experience was meeting all the people that really understand how I feel. I've really, really appreciated the different resources that I've found. So these are people who are involved in this from many, many, many different angles. Uh, there are public alternative school people here. There are homeschoolers and unschoolers. There are independent alternative school people, but all of them have in common that they believe the kids are natural learners. Anybody who's interested in learning about working with students and learners in a way that's natural and authentic, there's a lot of this happening. I think people need to know that they have choices. They need to know that these alternatives are out there. 